Hey everybody, CCI has a really interesting ammo that I like. It's their 0056 brand. Uh, it's a subsonic hollow point in 22 long rifle. It's a 40 grain hollow point, not a 36 or a 38 grain. Really useful. If you're shooting 36 grain, you're shooting 10% less weight than what this is. I like to think of this as my bulk upscale ammo. And then they make this interesting claim about 0074, which is a segmented round if you were to be hunting small game. They claim that if you shoot this round, that even out to 100 yards, you're going to have the same trajectory as this round. So I've said before in an article that if you were to use this round as your linchpin for your rifle or rifles, you could swap in and out with certain other ammo. So what we're going to do today is we're going to test to see if CCI's claim about this having the same trajectory is true. And that's coming up next on Mostly 22LR. Okay, so on the left here, we see CCI 0056. This is a 40 grain subsonic hollow point. And as you can see, it's all lead. It's got a uh, paraffin wax uh, lubricant on it, as opposed to CCI 0074, which has a copper jacket on it. Now this one also is a 40 grain subsonic hollow point. And again, CCI claims that these two have identical properties out to 100 yards. We know that this ballistic coefficient right here is 0.118. If that's correct, if CCI is right, then this one will be 0.118 at least out to 100 yards. Now I want to say something here that makes me kind of curious about these two bullets. And that is that this is a solid 40 grain bullet. This is not a solid 40 grain bullet. They have somehow scored that 40 grains so that it splits apart into three separate wound channels if you're shooting game. They've got that copper jacket on top of it to keep it rolling down the uh, barrel smoothly. Uh, it, it's just, they look the same, but internally they're not. And I'm just curious to see what those two are like at 100 yards. We'll also be shooting at 45 yards. And I'm going to be using a Marlin XT22R for the 45 yard shot. And I'll be using a Marlin XT22SR for the 100 yard shot. And as you can see, there they are right there. So hopefully we can find out yes or no, just a simple little scientific experiment using the scientific method to prove whether or not these really do hold the same ballistic trajectory to 100 yards. And again, CCI 0056, we know its ballistic trajectory, its ballistic coefficient is 0.118. So let's give it a shot, as they say. And so here we are, uh, this is 45 yards using the uh, XT22R that I own. This one is a uh, modified XT22. It has a 16 and a half inch barrel. And as you see right here, and my grouping for 0056 is not necessarily the greatest. These are the first 10 shots. This barrel has been shot at least 10 times before. And here, we've got a really interesting group. There's a little bit of stringing here on the vertical. I'm not really pleased with that. But if you notice here, it does seem to be pushing just a little bit to the left, from the left to the right. That would account for the wind. And here we are, pushed a little bit from the left to the right. We do look a little bit high. And if we look at our group, we've got a group right around here. And yes, indeed, we do have a group right around here. Other than the stringing, which I think might be my fault, because my reticle, my dot, is extraordinarily small compared to the size of this uh, red dot here. This might actually be my fault. But here at the 45 yard line, using a 16 and a half inch barrel on a bolt action rifle, I'm gonna give CCI full credit for 0056 and 0074 having the same trajectory. So let's go ahead and try at 100 yards. And here we are at 100 yards measured. Let's go ahead and take a real quick look here. And we're gonna look at this one first. This one is 0056. Uh, the scope has already been doped for uh, the wind that normally comes out of here. The wind is coming left to right, but as you can see here, got a decent group for 0056. Not bad for an inexpensive, uh, what I would call upscale bulk ammo. The uh, rifle had at least 24 rounds through it before this test began. That's 24 from a clean barrel. And over here, 0074. And I'm going to offer an alibi for that shot. That is me getting stupid 
with a uh, that one should have been somewhere else I shot inside a heartbeat instead of between heartbeats the other zier though I, I really didn't uh, didn't do anything else so we've got a decent spread but both of them are a little bit low this uh, scope if I remember correctly was zeroed at a slightly colder temperature so or maybe it was a slightly warmer temperature it's about 82 degrees out right now nice and sunny 29.73 on uh, INHG and 0056 0074 so I'm gonna give CCI credit at about 100 yards I'm serious 100 yards if you were to zero with 0056 you can expect that you're gonna get 0074 to hit in the same spots now this is me uh, taking some decent shots here but this is with a rifle that's 22 inch barrel it's a model XT 22 SR full 22 inch barrel length original crown and I like what we see here I really do okay so what did we learn today well we learned that CCI 0074 really does have the same ballistics trajectory as 0056 if you're shooting 0056 you already know that its ballistics coefficient is 0.118 go ahead if you're using Strelock or any of the other ballistics calculators use 0.118 for 0074 all the way out to 100 yards I don't know if that's the number but I'm confident that for Strelock you'll be able to calculate an accurate shot using the same ballistics coefficient as 0056 gets now I want to say this I have a number of 22 rifles uh, I would not be afraid to put 0056 or 0074 into either of those rifles and take a shot. So um, if you had uh, something as small as a rabbit or a squirrel or a possum, you might use 0056 because it's a good 40 grain oomph and it's a subsonic round and it's a hollow point. It will mushroom. If you were to shoot out uh, to uh, a 40 pound raccoon or a 50 pound coyote, you might swap right in with that CCI 0074. You don't have to worry about doping your scope because wherever 0056 is on your scope, that's where 0074 is going to be, at least out to 100 yards. Now I am going to try and do a part two on this. I do have access once a month to a 200 yard range. I do have an XT22, uh, that is the uh, RZ model, and that one is zeroed at 200 yards. We will take some shots if we can get that range, and I'll see if I can get a 200 yard accuracy out of both 0056 and 0074. That's some time of the future. But until then, I think this is good. One final thought. If you're gonna shoot an animal, please make sure that it's a blush shot. Take an ethical blush shot. What's blush, Rob? Well, blush is brain, lungs, spine, heart. If you can take a true blush shot, that's the shot that you want to take. I am adamant about people taking ethical shots on animals. So I'm Rob Rosenberger for Mostly 22 LR. And remember, 22 LR is real ammunition treated as such.